This is what we're making today. Nutritious Meal version 593. Alright guys, so when I was reading the description for this dish, it says that the healthy green color comes from a mixture of cream and healthy vegetable juices. So what we're going to make here is a cream of broccoli. After cutting up the florets of the broccoli, we're going to boil them for 5 minutes. Make sure you put a lid on top so it comes to a rolling boil and all of the broccoli gets cooked evenly. After 5 minutes, we're going to use the fork test to see if the broccoli is soft enough. When the broccoli is soft enough, we're going to strain it and put it aside. Next, in a blender, we're going to throw all our broccoli in there. When straining the broccoli, make sure that you don't discard the broccoli water. We need that. That's all flavor. Once all the broccoli is in the blender, we're going to fill it up with broccoli water halfway up. We're going to puree this for about 5 minutes until you have a smooth, silky consistency. I actually learned this technique from Gordon Ramsay's YouTube channel, so I'll post the link up above on the top right hand corner. Look how thick and smooth that looks, and all that is is broccoli and water. This with a little bit of seasoning will make the perfect broccoli soup. Next, in this pan is 300 milliliters of heavy cream. We're going to slowly add in 300 grams of shredded mozzarella cheese until you have a nice thick cheese sauce. Make sure you take your time with this and don't rush it. If you add the cheese too fast, it will clump. And if you have your heat on too high, it will burn. So again, take your time. Once you have the desired consistency, you can add in your broccoli puree. Just dump all of it in there. This is about a liter of broccoli puree to 250 milliliters of cheese sauce. You should have a nice smooth consistency like this. Next, we're going to cut up all our ingredients. We're going to cut up a cup of each item. We're going to cut up ham, cabbage, carrots, potatoes, and onions. So if you guys don't know what we're making here, we're essentially making an American style casserole. If you guys don't know what an American style casserole is, Google it. I'm pretty sure it'll have your answers for you. As for me, I don't really want to explain it. I feel like it's too complicated to explain. It's actually not that complicated to explain. Let me explain it. A casserole has three main ingredients, your meat, your vegetable, a starchy binder such as pasta or potato, or in some cases, actually in America in a lot of cases, cheese. You're gonna combine all this stuff, throw it in a casserole dish, and then bake it for a long period of time. That's a casserole. So, once we've cut up all our ingredients, in a bowl, we're gonna add in 1 cup of carrots, 1 cup of onions, 1 cup of ham, 1 cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, one cup of potato, and one cup of cabbage. We're gonna give this a quick mix and then add in our seasonings. Our seasonings contain two tablespoons of salt, one tablespoon of black pepper, two tablespoons of garlic powder, one tablespoon of cayenne powder, and one tablespoon of mustard powder. We're going to give it another mix and then add in 250 milliliters of our cream of broccoli sauce. Once we've added in all our cream of broccoli, we're also going to add in 100 grams of canned crab meat. Yes, canned crab meat. It's not as bad as you think. There are some good brands out there. This is a casserole dish. We're simply going to fill this up with our filling and we're going to throw it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. We're going to bake this dish three times. While it's baking, we're going to make our cheese topping. In a bowl, we're simply going to mix shredded mozzarella cheese and some cream of broccoli sauce. After 20 minutes, this is what it looks like. The color will dilute a little bit as the vegetable cooks and releases its juices 
But that's why we're going to put in our cream of broccoli cheese right on top. It'll make the color nice and green again. Once we placed all our ingredients on top, we're going to bake it in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for another 20 minutes. While we're waiting for it to cook, we're going to make our crab roll crumble. In a pan, we're going to throw in a nub of butter. In our nub of butter, we're going to throw in our leftover frozen crab roll from our last crab roll episode, along with some panko and parmesan cheese. We're going to toast this in the pan for about 3 minutes. Okay, so just in case you guys didn't know, that last part, I baked that for another 20 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Anyways, we're gonna cut into this casserole while it's still hot. Man, if you guys could only smell this. It smells like a really good cream soup in the middle of a rainy day. Now, the real question is, is this delicious or is this suspicious? I'll tell you one thing though. It's definitely not nutritious. With the amount of cream and cheese I put in there, if you ate this every day, you'll be obese. Anyways, let's give it a quick try. This is how I would describe this dish. The dominant flavor is definitely the cream of broccoli. This is like a really chunky cream of broccoli soup. I mean, it's delicious, don't get me wrong. This thing could be eaten on its own with pasta, bread, or rice. Anyways, that was actually a very delicious meal. You guys should really try it out. As for the meal being healthy and nutritious, um, it's definitely not. Not the way I cooked it. Anyways, if you guys like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what I should cook next, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.